Good afternoon, grade 5 learners. Today, we're going to have our summative test number 1 for quarter 3, module 3, with the topics, Making a Stand, Facts, or Opinion. So before we start, prepare a piece of paper in a ball pen, write your name, section, and the date for today on top of your paper. Let us begin. For part one, fact or opinion, read each statement carefully, identify if it's fact or opinion. Answers only. Let us have number one. Number one. Experts say that climate change is a serious problem affecting the Earth's ecosystem. Number two. My friend believes that human beings can survive without Mother Nature. Number three. Many people believe it's the government's sole job to protect Mother Nature. Number four. A lot of businessmen say that climate change is not true. Number five. It's important that Earth's ecosystem should be protected. Time's up. Now, let us go to the second part of our summative test. Part 2A, Factor Opinion. Read each paragraph carefully. Identify the statements is fact or opinion based on what you have read. You have 60 seconds to answer each activity. Let us begin. Paragraph number one. It was almost Halloween and Maria still hadn't thought of a costume. Her sister Luisa was going as a hot dog and Maria thought that was the best idea ever. Luisa always took Maria trick or treating and they always had costumes that went together. But this year... Luisa had been too busy with her friends to help Maria with a costume. Maria didn't know what to do. Maria was looking in some magazines for costume ideas when her mom asked her to go with her to the grocery store. At the store, in the Halloween candy aisle, Maria saw a tall, pointed red hat that gave her a great idea. The hat only cost $2. So Maria's mom bought it for her. Maria skipped all the way to the car. She had a costume. She was going to be ketchup. Time is up. Now, let us go to paragraph number two. Paragraph number two. Jack lives in a small town in Australia. The closest big city is an hour's drive away. Jack looks forward to going to the city because when they drive through the countryside, they almost always see kangaroos. Sometimes, they even see a baby kangaroo riding its mother's pouch. Jack knows all about kangaroos. A baby is called a joey, a mother is called a doe, 
and of others called the boomer. A group of kangaroos is called the mob. Once, Jack saw a kangaroo jump about three times its height. It was an amazing sight. He knows that when kangaroos are hopping along at high speed, they can go as fast as 40 miles per hour. Jack also knows that even though kangaroos are fun to look at, you wouldn't want to try to pet one. If a kangaroo thinks it is in danger, it just might lean back on its big tail and kick you with its back feet. Time is up. Now, let us go to the last part of our summative test. For part 3, making a stand. Analyze the given topic carefully. Explain your stand about this topic in 4 to 5 sentences. Frontline health workers continually work for the sake of our country in the fight against the coronavirus pandemic. Do you agree that we must thank all the frontline health workers? Explain your stand in four to five sentences. You may now begin. Time is up. For our final reminders, make sure your answer sheet has your name, section, and the date for today. Send a picture of your answer to our English Messenger group chat. So the test is for 20 items plus 5 points for timeliness. The overall points will be 25. Thank you so much, grade 5 learners, for being with me today. Keep safe and have a wonderful day. See you in our next lesson.